All right, Virgo, let's see what is going on for you and your love life to start with. And then other in general, oh, fire sign this came flying out. Spying and hoping, dreaming of you. Kind of a fire sign dreaming about you, hoping to either see you again, talk to you again. Maybe they're spying on you. Um, wanting to have coffee with you. This could be someone who's around you right now. I feel like it's somebody who maybe you work with or something like that. Water sign under the deck. Maybe it's a water sign. Hmm. Someone's got their eye on you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What else? Virgo. Possibly there might be a commitment or things are getting serious. This is a soulmate. And they have fantasies. They daydream about you and that's meant to be. Oh, we got air sign underneath the deck. Wow. Air sign wants to speak their truth. Thinking alike, the divine masculine. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you, Virgo, who this is. All right. Overall energy. Ace of Swords. Someone wants to tell you something. Somebody that you do know. Six of Cups. Three of Coins. Maybe someone that you got along well with or worked with or three of Coins. You were around them at some time. They might also see you as a loner right now or you're not reaching out. The only reason is this card, he's all by himself on this Three of Coins with his cat. So maybe they've been missing you, wondering where you're at. Show me what's in the hidden position. Strength. Could be a Leo. And what's the outcome? Two of Wands, trying to decide. All right. Now it's definitely coming up fire. So, Six of Wands, again, let's see, it doesn't have to be fire, but someone who has that passion is coming in, is waiting or looking for you, a wish fulfilled. This person might also be at a, at a distance right now. They could be vacationing or traveling. They could be like really missing you and, and waiting to come back to you. Something like that also. Um, also, I feel like someone maybe that you like talk to on a regular basis, even though that really just likes you, likes being around you, Virgo, likes to see you. Some of you have been strong, you've been going through some sort of um, problem or situation where you've had to become really strong and you've done a good job, is kind of what I'm getting. So, um, wanting to work. Somebody may be working from home. Again, maybe that's why you don't see them. Yeah, they want a relationship. Karma, judgment. Chariot, wanting to travel. You got the moon energy and seven of coins. Could be within the last, I don't know, seven months, seven weeks, seven years, a week, something here. I feel like they're counting down the day so they see you again. It's kind of like if that seven of coins. Let me see what your energy is here. Okay, so it says express your love and give your relationship a chance. All right, they may be expressing how they feel. They may say something to you. I kind of get, I get this is someone who's kind of close to you, around you right now. Someone who, again, like I said, likes you. They like seeing you. They like talking to you. Timid. This person could be a secret admirer or timid. Hmm. Doing some healing, healing and releasing. That's what I'm seeing down here in the um, hidden position, by the way. I'm seeing healing here. The strength card, the six of wands, and the moon. It's like going within, doing some healing, releasing the past, things like that. It may mean that you're ready for this connection because now it says divine connection. So a secret admirer, someone who's maybe been waiting while you do some healing. And this is a divine connection. It does say twin flame. Maybe soulmate. So that may be what's going on here. It's all about divine timing. So maybe actually... You might, I mean, you would know who this is. This is not somebody new, but you might not be expecting this person to like reach out or return or to tell you they have feelings or to ask you out for coffee or something like that. Cause I'm getting like, this is like the time for this connection. Okay. What's going on for Virgo? We have, this could be an ex lover or old, it says old spark. So I guess it could be an ex. I'm not really picking up ex energy. We do have a six of cups here. So, I mean, it could be. It's just, I'm getting somebody that you do know, though. So, a marriage, sacred union. An ex, a marriage. Maybe they were married. You could have been married to them, possibly, at one time. But it's probably not for most of you. And divine timing. Yeah, believe in divine timing. That's what I'm getting here. It's all about being ready for this connection. Healing. Divine timing. Old spark, marriage, and divine timing. Okay. I feel like this person will, will come in and, and give you some sort of like support that you need. 
I get this person is really into you also. So it's not like someone who just kind of like puts you on the back burner. Um, someone who is excited to see you every day, excited to be around you. Again, one of you may work from home if that helps like know who it is. I don't know if you, well, I guess if it's, well, you might know who this is. I'm thinking you might not know who this is. What would they say to you? They feel like they can be themselves when they're with you. They miss seeing you. They miss hearing your voice. And this says they compare others to you. Okay. I guess somebody may be in the field of like data. I don't know. I'm getting that like data analysis, data entry, data something came through just now. What does spirit want you to know about this connection? There's going to be chemistry in this connection. Time apart. And oh, healing is in this one too. So maybe both of you have been doing some healing, getting over an ex, getting over past pain, whatever. So that's good. That means the two of you could come back together without baggage. And here, right now, so that means soon, soulmate. These are actually good cards that came out the way it does. The way they came out, there was connection here, but you guys healed and now you're coming back together as soulmates. Hmm. Um, let me let me go to another deck. I want to see what other things are going on for you right now. What are the messages are going on for Virgo? What do you need to know right now? I get keep charging ahead with the chariot. I just feel like keep moving forward. Um, you have great worry over nothing right now. You have victory in some endeavor. There's going to be some sort of announcement. Great passion. Somebody could be telling you that they have great passion for you. You also have peace and harmony. Love, deep affection, caring, and good fortune. I feel like this person could bring a lot to the table. I feel like they could give a lot. Um, I feel like they have a good heart. Again, they've done the inner work. They've done the healing. Um, this makes you feel like some of you may be going to an outdoor event coming up here. I mean, it could be a picnic, could be a wedding, could be, you know, something social, could be work related. I don't know if that ties in. Maybe you guys have worked together at one point, but it doesn't have to be. This bell or as it reminds you of there's a bell, I believe, in San Pedro, California. I don't know if anyone's familiar with that, but it reminds you of the the bell on the I believe it's on a hill or something. And it sometimes it also reminds me of like a wedding, but some sort of announcement. Maybe somebody else announcing something, like they're pregnant, they're getting married, they're engaged. That can be a timeline to know that this is coming in. Maybe someone has recently announced something like that. Um, I feel like also have you been worrying too much, overthinking things are going to work out for you? Especially like if you're worried about like money right now or like um, a job. Look, as I split the deck, I do see you maybe feeling disappointed or sad. But you have victory overall here. You have luck and love. What's this victory? I've oh, been feeling very weighed down and trapped. Okay, like you can't move forward. You don't know how to get out of it. You feel blocked. So you've been feeling overwhelmed and blocked right now. Under the deck is the Ace of Coins, though. Something new. I do have air energy under here and fire energy. Again, this could be this person coming back towards you. They may be an air sign or a fire sign. But I feel like you've been worried about like money or job or things that things not working out. But they will. Show me the heart. Prince energy. It might be a Sagittarius. There you are. Oops, that was facing the wrong way. Oh, it's a water sign. Maybe something you don't see. It was face down. Who has feelings for you? Maybe there's a third party in the past. There may have been somebody else. We have a water sign here. This could be a couple. This could be you and them. But I'm also getting with a three of cups. I'm getting like you don't notice this. Again, Leo energy. Sometimes it's like this person may be looking at you and you don't notice. Maybe you've been very emotional lately. Maybe you've been caught up in your emotions and worrying a lot. Some of you may come up as water signs. I have a lot of water in your chart. Some of you have been healing. Okay, they're telling me some of you have been healing. This is an X. This is something you were healing over. This was a third party you were stuck in, is what I'm getting. Maybe you were with a water sign and they had a third party who, and they cheated on you or something and this is what you've been healing over. Okay, maybe you've been kind of turned your back on love. Maybe you're worried about being cheated on again, worried about this person coming back, being a player or something like that. 
Because again, it kind of keeps coming back like you've done some healing. You've done a lot of inner work. And show me good fortune. Knight of Swords. Something coming in very quickly. Some of you definitely, there is money. There's something big coming in here. A job, money, something. Um, that is going to turn things around. Some good news. Yeah, Page of Wands. You have a lot of nice energy. I mean, there is a lot of nice energy here. I feel like you do have muddled thinking because I think like the old and the new are kind of coming together. And like the, the old has to leave while the new is coming in. But I feel like sometimes it kind of feels confusing. Like sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're sad. But I do see things getting better overall. So I don't know if we did a timeline. No, there was a timeline possibly of an announcement coming in um, for something else. When is this person... Coming towards you. I'm getting within three weeks because of the three of coins. Nine of coins. Could be around the 9th of November, but let's see what else. Somebody has an announcement they're going to make right around the Thanksgiving Day holidays. Getting over heartache. Three of swords came out in reverse. Communication. Wow, it keeps showing the same thing. Getting over the past, an announcement of something big coming in the Ace of Coins. Can be commitment. Yes, definitely can be. I'm thinking it might be something else as well, though, like for your money, letting the past go. Yeah, you're gonna feel, I got on fire or powerful. Again, I'm kind of getting, something good's gonna come in that, that kind of takes over. So then like the past is done, you're over it, you don't think about it anymore, kind of takes over that energy. So that's good. All right, anything else, Spirit? I think I'm gonna leave it there, Virgo. Have a great week, you guys.